Well, how are you feeling? John Riggs here with this awesome, beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, you can already tell what it is, obviously. The book actually, this is, and this is set, uh, scale here. It's not the game. <laughs> Here's my hand for scale, and I can palm a basketball. I'll tell you how big, uh, big this book is. It's from Dark Horse, but licensed by Nintendo. The thing that sold it for me, not just the look, and I'll, and I'll show you what it looks like on the other side too, is this little insert that it came with. Because this is like, why didn't I think of this before? Wouldn't it be so cool to have giant size instruction manuals? Now, this is not the actual instruction manual, unfortunately. There's a little bit about the book. I mean, they have this part of the you know manual in here, too. But I'd love to have, if Nintendo or anybody who produces books, if you could find a way to get licensed that things that were this big, I mean, actually have them be manual size, but, you know, twice the size, three times the size. Or even if they're all in one, like, coffee table book. I'd love that. To have, like, you know, here's Zelda, here's Mario, here's Metroid. You know, other great instruction manuals. So that's that's cool. But the book itself, and this is available. Actually, this was half price through Amazon. I'll uh, link in the description below here. This is the sleeve. And when you take it out, ah, it's, come on, you. Got that golden shimmer to it. You can even see kind of my silhouette down there. Hello. Has the pebbled surface like a Nintendo game does. Even has the, uh, <laughs> the book is the submersion water exposed to extreme temperatures. Hilarious. Um, I'll, let's, let's open it up just a little bit here. I'll show you a little bit. So here's Hyrule, you know. And um, I'm not going to go through page by page, but it just kind of goes through, you know, it's what you would think a Zelda book would be. Here's, you know, the covers, even the Famicom, oh, that's the uh, Famicom Disk System cover. The timelines, traditions, history. You know, it jumps right into it, too. It's not like, you know, here's Zelda 1 all the way through, you know, modern, you know, Breath of the Wild. It's like, you know, here's, you know, the different forms of Ganon. The Temple of Time. <laughs> I love the maps on this. It's like, you know, the hand-drawn maps, too. Those are my favorite part. <laughs> if you're a bug collector, different types of uh, insects you can find around. The different foods. Pumpkins plays more of a part in a lot of the Zelda games than people give it credit for. Even the language. You can actually come up with your own language, maybe. Have a little, uh, you know, secret code for you and your friends. Write letters to each other. Pass notes. The different swords. This is a cool book, and um, I'll just kind of flip through it here a little bit quicker. Um, like I said, it was like half price. Uh, my buddy Ryan, Castlemania Games, you know, Castlemania Ryan, um, was like, hey, have you seen this yet? Because he knew that I'm, I'm really into video game books. And I was like, I hadn't. And through Amazon, it was half price. So I think, I mean, retail was like 70 I think I paid 25 Again, I'll link it in the description. Um, what caught me again, I mean, I have Zelda books. I have a lot of Zelda books. Uh, not a lot. I have a few. Um, including that encyclopedia. But the, um, yeah, that that manual, that instruction manual thing was the was the one that sold it for me. And I'm glad I got it. I mean, this is, this is a cool book. And this one does have a lot of um, items and features in it that the others didn't. A lot of database stuff. I just love, like, the, you know, the different variations of Octorox, you know, how it's evolved. You know, what it used to look like, what it looks like now. These guys. hate those guys. <laughs> okay, and then here's where it goes into the archives. What's here is, like, you know, here's, you know, The Legend of Zelda, even hand-drawn. <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't replicate that. I mean, they did, obviously, for this, but um, there's even, like, you know, like, what it used to look like, like, what it could have looked like. Like, there's the old title screen, or, you know. Oh, it's just glorious. I love this. Character relationships, like, the, you know, the weird <laughs> family tree. Oh, man. This, there's a lot of information crammed in this book, too. I mean, this is definitely worth the value here. Definitely worth the price. Is that... I saw a Minish Cap about... Oh, and then other appearances where he popped into a... Oh, I was going to say, I wonder if it mentions Soul Calibur. And there it is right there. Yeah, even in uh, Sonic Lost World, huh? I never played Sonic Lost World, so that's news to me. And then through the end, and even some Japanese cover arts and other stuff, too. There's the man. You can thank him for it. 
Alrighty, there we go. Now available, again, I'll link it in the description below. This is the Legend of Zelda Encyclopedia, this one from Dark Horse Comics. And again, the kicker, I mean, this is also hilarious. I mean, this is like the same material. It's, it feels straight up like the same material they used for, um, for uh, slip cases. But man, could we get, this is just awesome. I love this. You know, I feel like I'm younger again, and this is like true to scale from when I was that size. Well, no, nah, it'd still be a little bit too big. <laughs> oh, too funny. I'll slide that over right there. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you're into video game books like I am, I have a whole other playlist full of video game books. Maybe a couple of them you haven't even heard of. Um, and then some of them that you maybe have, but you just want to see what they look like on the inside before you make a final purchase. Uh, you can check out those as well as, um, and thank you for subscribing too. I do new videos all the time, about every other day if I can, um, whether it be video game books, uh, whether it be showing off some cool games, some repros, or how to make your own. Um, you know, I appreciate the support and I thank you much for watching and you're awesome.